Mm -hmm. I'm a preacher. Oh, so I know. That damn liar, man. That's not true. Shh, don't tell anybody. We looking good together. Why? 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 White disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. We're living in a toxic culture mm -hmm. where there's a cancel culture gotcha. Right. We're not trying to elevate. We're trying to eviscerate. Right. So when it comes to Nancy... <laughs> He ain't trying to eviscerate, he trying to incarcerate. Jackson had a clip with uh, Nancy Mace going, around, going viral and going around where they went back and forth about her mispronouncing Kamala Harris. And we did a whole breakdown of that, so be sure to check it out. But this is a That's little piece. the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, I that, just said you were racist. That is complete. You don't have right. Kamala Harris. Because she mispronounced her name, he's like cor correcting her. This is the mispronouncing of the Black American race. Harris, if Kamala. I Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. Okay, and then it turned out. So after this aired, we found out that maybe he didn't actually think she was like this horrible, evil human being. That he might have actually had a fling with her. He he had a big thing with her because he thinks she's a babe, and I can prove it. We have the text receipts. <laughs> but this is also a book that he wrote. Why I Love Black Women. <laughs> By Michael Eric Dyson. It's on the Goodreads list. But here's the text messages between them two. Little picture. Sends them. Shh, don't tell anybody. We looking good together. We looking real good. <laughs> well, you're gorgeous. Mix the photos. Well, you're, you're gorgeous. It makes the photo. So there's that, which is definitely flirtatious. He's like, you're gorgeous. And he's sitting there waiting. You going to say anything back to me? You going to call me hot? Because if it, you do, it's totally on. Okay. And so now he goes on the view. He goes on the view because he is mad. Daddy is mad about this information being leaked out. How dare you? How dare you? I was just berating you on live on CNN, calling you a racist. And then I started taking photos afterwards and we had a good time. We had a good old fashioned time. We had had a text feed and everything. So this is on the view. He's caught. Now, what does a narcissistic, insane psychopath do when they're caught lying and being a total fraud? <laughs> you double down. Let's listen. So because we live in the crazy year of 2024, she then later accused you of sending her flirty texts, which she entered into the congressional. Mm, no, sir. Those were not flirty texts. I just said, well, you're gorgeous. <laughs> makes, makes the photos. So there's that. And then he said, remember, he also said, Shh, don't tell nobody. We looking good together. Why? Shh, don't tell nobody. That seems obviously devious. So because we live in the crazy year of 2024, she then later accused you of sending her flirty text, which she entered into the congressional mm -hmm. record. Can you clear this up for us, Professor? Absolutely. Well, first of all, it's great to be here with you <laughs> wonderful women. Yes. Um, yes. The thing is, is that here we go. Let's Start look preaching. at a little background. Mm -hmm. I'm a preacher. Oh, so I know good. sin, my own and others. <laughs> right? and nobody's perfect. I saw Whoopi yesterday talk about the fact in regard to Janet Jackson, people make mistakes and we have Even to Whoopi don't know. Number two, as a professor, I've seen things evolve over space and time. What you could say 20 years ago, can't say today. No. Yeah. Mm. Not because you're suddenly wrong, but the temper of the times has yeah. changed. Right. So if you acknowledge a woman's beauty that is a power imbalance, there's a problem there. Mm. But peer to peer, a different story. Yeah. Still oh. cautious, but different. And then thirdly, let's look at the politics. We're living in a toxic culture mm. where there's a <sighs> cancel culture gotcha. Right. We're not trying to elevate, we're trying to eviscerate. Right. So when it comes to Nancy Mace, you see I tried to be nice to yes. the woman. <laughs> <laughs> to the woman. I said, you you're a wonderful woman. Yes. I lied. I then said... <laughs> oh, but are you lying now? See? He's a preacher. He's a pastor. He ain't trying to eviscerate. He's trying to incarcerate. Come up up in the view. You can see from the pew. I'm gonna make me some chicken chili stew. And don't just worry about me. I'm looking out for my crew. I don't just go cross country. I flew. Now shoot. 
trying to eviscerate me, a white woman. Okay, it gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> I, I said, you you're a wonderful woman. Explaining. I lied. I then said, <laughs> but, but I tried to be nice to her. Yeah. And then even when I pointed out to her what the repetition of the misnaming of Kamala Harris would do, yes. she got defensive. Oh, oh, you're calling me a racist. No. And you never did. I, was I never did. Yeah. I never did. Yeah, you did. And we could break it down. I, I think Shakespeare said the lady doth protest too much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Uh, he's educated. He's above reproach. Thus doth thus Shakespeare eth quote eth. And he wouldn't just use Shakespeare or say that he was previously lying about her to say that he's acting or lying now. Why would he do that? Don't you love how even I, I'm starting to pick up that Whoopi thinks he's full of crap. I'm on Whoopi's side here. She knows he's full of it. And look at her. Anna's like, oh my God, this is the best day ever. I love when a black guy comes in here and lectures me. Okay, let's listen. <laughs> or in the hood, we say a hit dog will holler. Yeah. So the point is. <laughs> oh, the hood. What's that like? Tell me about the freaking good. The hit dog don't holler. And why does he have the same glasses as me? There's only one Derek, and it ain't you, boy. Point is that <laughs> you big boy. That this woman has now depended upon, like her inspiration, Donald Trump, a racist trope. Yeah. The black brute seeks That's the right. innocent white woman, That's and right. now I'm seeking lasciviously to approach her. I didn't call her names. I acknowledge her humanity, and I'll say one final thing to all of these white Christians, and she's one of them. Oh, the, thank the, you. Yeah, now lecture me. Jesus said, lecture thy white Christians. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name speak it. will humble. Oh, speak it. He's talking about the Bible on The View. They love the Bible there. Don't you love it? It's like when a white person goes on and starts talking about the Bible, they're like, keep your church out of here. Okay. There's a separation of church and state for a reason. <laughs> but when it's a black preacher, they're just like, yes, love it. <laughs> themselves and pray and turn their face to God and turn away from their wicked ways mm. then mm. I will hear from heaven yeah. and then I will forgive their sins and mm -hmm. I will heal the land right. they have not forgiven themselves uh, why don't you come out and ask for repentance <laughs> Mr. Christian oh no double down double down and make the other person feel weak and small that's such a preacher thing to do White Christians hate themselves for I do hate myself. I hate myself. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. You want us to you want us to hate ourselves. That's the thing. That's the difference, Eric. Christians hate themselves for the past wrongs that have been done. And I'm here as a loving Christian to say, let's grapple with that past. Acknowledge the historic legacy of, of supremacy. Don't deny it. Don't erase it. Don't eviscerate it. Don't remove it from the history books. Confront it. And then when you forgive yourselves, we can go forward. I am a human being. Mm -hmm. Have I made mistakes? Absolutely. Absolutely. Have I said the wrong thing to people that right I now. wish I could take back? Absolutely. You're doing but right I am now. a child of God. And that means I don't have to be perfect to be useful. And I don't have to be unflawed to shine bright <laughs> this is what the kids call a cope no you're a weirdo that is texting women shh don't tell nobody we looking good together it's weird okay it's weird can we just all agree on that you're weird and that this was a little over the top i, I, call you Nancy Nancy. I think i think what i think what mace is trying to get at Eric, is that you're performative and you're doing it all for show. That's my thought. 